The Nepalese caste system is the traditional system of social stratification of Nepal. The Nepalese caste system broadly borrows the classical Hindu Chittorvarnashram model consisting of four broad social classes or Varna, Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. The caste system defines social classes by a number of hierarchical endogamous groups often termed Jat. This custom was traditionally only prevalent in the Hindu Aryan societies of the Khas, Madeshi, and Nuars. However, since the unification of Nepal in the 18th century, Nepal's various Tibetan immigrant nationalities Adivasi Janajati, have been incorporated within the caste hierarchy, to varying degrees of success. Despite the forceful integration by the state into the pan-Hindu social structure, the ethnic indigenous groups and tribes do not necessarily adhere to the customs and practices of the caste system. Topic. Traditional caste system Topic. Caste origin Hill Parbatiya Hindu groups Khas. The social structure of caste origin hill Hindu or Khas groups is simple, reflecting only three groups in hierarchy, with the distinct absence of the Vaishya and Shudra Varnas. Much of the previously animist, tribal Khas population of the western Nepal region acquired the Chetri status in the 1850s with the proclamation by the Rana Prime Minister Young Bahadur Rana, making Chetris the most populous caste, tribe of Nepal. The mother tongue of these groups is Nepali and its various dialects. In 2001 the CBS recorded only nine groups in the caste origin Hill Hindu groups. Topic. Caste origin Madesh Hindu groups, Madeshi The social structure of the caste origin Madeshi Hindu groups is complex, reflecting four Varna groups with distinct hierarchical structure within them. These various cultural groups belong to four distinct language groups, Maithili, Bajika, Bhojpuri, Taru and Awadi. In 2001 the CBS recorded 43 caste origin Hindu groups in the Madesh. Topic. Caste origin Nepal Mandala groups, Nuars The case of Nuar is exceptional. This group presents a complicated social structure, not only reflecting the model of four Hindu Varna categories, but is also clearly divided into two distinct religious groups, the Hindu and the Buddhist. Nuars are divided internally into distinct cultural groups of over 25 occupational caste categories who share a common language mother tongue, Nepal Basa and its regional dialects. Muliki Ain The Nepali civil code Muliki Ain was commissioned by young Bahadur Rana after his European tour and enacted in 1854. It was rooted in traditional Hindu law and codified social practices for several centuries in Nepal. The law also comprised prayaschita avoidance and removal of sin and akara the customary law of different castes and communities. It was an attempt to include the entire Hindu as well as non-Hindu population of Nepal of that time into a single hierarchic civic code from the perspective of the Khas rulers. Terai and Nuar Brahmins and Kshatriyas were officially placed below their Khas equivalents. Similarly, serious limitations and oversights of this code include the complete exclusion of the large middle-ranking Terai groups. Most notable contradiction is the inclusion of previously non-Hindu tribes, Adivasi Janajati groups, as well as non-Nepalis including Muslims and Europeans into the hierarchical fold. Hierarchies of major caste, ethnic groups in Nepal according to Mulaki Ain. The social values preached by the Muliki Ain, however, were providing restrictive, anachronic and out of step with the spirit of times. These values were seen as a potent instrument of Rana political repression. After the Rana regime, caste rules relating to food, drink and intercaste marriage were openly lauded but the Muliki Ain had not been abrogated. In 1963, legal code was replaced by new 1964 legal code. The legal recognition to caste and all the discriminatory laws made on the grounds of caste were ceased. Topic the caste system today The caste system is still intact today but the rules are not as rigid as they were in the past. In 1962, a law was passed making it illegal to discriminate against other castes let all castes to be equally treated by the law. Education is free and open to all castes. 
The caste system conjoints a structural class divide which persists, in which lower castes, ethnicities are generally socio-economically or not equal like those of higher castes, ethnicities. Recent research has also shown that when it comes to Nepali people's impressions of social change, poverty, human resources and region explain more of the variation than ethnicity, caste or religious belonging i.e. people's perception of their own social situation has more to do with geography and objective social class, than with their association with the groups that the state has based its internal social policy on. Participation of Khas Brahmins in civil service is 41.3% in spite of its population size of less than 13%. The population of Nuars is around 5%, but its occupancy in civil service is more than one thirds .2%. The population of Khas Chetras constitutes 17.6%, but its participation is mere 14.7%. If these major three castes Khas Brahman and Chetras, and Nuars combine together their shares in the government of Nepal, civil service employment is 89.2% in 1991. Their dominance is reflected in education, administration and economical activities of the nation. Among those 73.8% in higher education belong to higher castes, 22.0% Janajatis and 2.9% Dalit, they have become major decision makers in the bureaucracy of Nepal has become crystal clear. In terms of earning, income generation, Nuars have the highest per capita income of 38,193 rupees. Khas upper castes come next with an average income of 24,399 rupees. Adivasi Janajatis ranks third with an average income of 15,630 rupees. Dalit 12,114 rupees and Muslim ranks the lowest, 11,014 rupees. The democratic transitions also failed to be inclusive management and functioning governance mainly because government was unable to understand and articulate the spirit of all Nepalese people irrespective of their caste, gender, ethnicity ethnicity, and religion. In this process the left-outs were oppressed class Dalits, women, the poorest of the poor, powerless and the second-class citizen and indigenous nationalities Adivasi Janajatis. In Nepal, high castes dominate 91.2% among the prominent position in politics and bureaucracy. The Dalits who constitute 12.8% of the total population of the country have no representation in the higher echelons of power Garung, H. 2006. Similarly, the Janajati has 36.0% of the total population of the country, has representation of 7.1%. In terms of education, 88.0% of Khas Brahmins and Chetras, and Nuars have access to school, 12.0% have never been to school. More than 50 of Hill Dalits, 47.0% of the Tarai Dalits, 48.0% of the Muslims and 30% of the Hill Adivasi Janajatis have never been to school, census, 2001. In recent times, following the overthrow of the Nepali monarchy and move towards a federal republic, ethnicity and caste have taken center stage, the indigenous peoples Adivasi Janajati who make up a third of the country having been guaranteed rights that have not yet been fulfilled. There is an observable reaction to this among certain Khas Brahmin and Chetri groups, seeking to prevent group-based rights from becoming an important factor in the country that earlier had a political system associated with group-based discrimination. Certain outside analysts have suggested that, "...seeking a balance in approach requires addressing both specific indigenous historical injustices while creating a common citizenship for all marginalized citizens regardless of identity, which remains a particularly challenging issue for Nepal." See also Gender inequality in Nepal Ethnic groups in Nepal Nuar caste system Caste system in India References Further reading Caste discrimination. South Asian Human Rights Documentation Center Nancy E. Levine. Caste, State, and Ethnic Boundaries in Nepal. The Journal of Asian Studies, Vol. 46, No. 1 Feb. 1987, pp. 71-88 doi, 101307 2056667 Nepal, Towards a Democratic Republic, Caste, Ethnicity and Inequality in Nepal. 
Economic and Political Weekly External links The complete reference to Brahmins, material from this site has been borrowed for this article with the permission of Dr. Vepacheju Interview with Ian Martin, caste-based discrimination in Nepal the 23rd of October 2006 Nepal, UN welcomes new law on caste. Nepal was.